Lopins. <laughs> yeah. Had him at the movies. <laughs> Indeed. Let's talk about it. Well, what's coming out this weekend? A fair warning on this. Uh, this is mature content, mature audiences. Earmuffs. Whoa. Earmuffs. Send the little ones out for just give us three minutes. Okay. And we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a discussion and then bring them back in. Because we're talking about cocaine bear. <laughs> Which nope. sounds so chaotic. It, it, and, it, and it is. <laughs> this is the craziest premise for a movie I've ever heard. Yeah, yep. and in fact, but all inspired by true events from 1985. Let's <laughs> roll the clip if we have it. <laughs> Too much. Oh, Jesus. What is that? Somewhere in 1985, over a Georgia forest, uh, a drug runner's plane went down carrying a load of cocaine, and a bear got into it. The rest is fiction after that. Oh, okay. So, uh, but those parts are true, and a bear did get into it. So what we have here is a film that's directed by Elizabeth Banks. It's written by uh, Jimmy Warden. Really? It's and directed by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks? Banks? The, the Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, the one who uh, you may remember from Scrubs. She was the girlfriend in Scrubs. She's also been Effie in, in uh, Hunger Games. I was going to say, the, like, forever in yeah. your favor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, may the odds be always in your favor. Yeah. Right, that, so that Elizabeth Banks, she's directing films. This is her film. And it okay. happens to... Uh, <laughs> also star uh, folks such as Carrie Russell, O'Shea Jackson Jr., who you may also know as Ice Cube's yeah. son, who looks oh, just yeah. like he's Cube. he's great. I like it's him. It's actually a little distracting through the film, too, because you're like, wait, wait, what's going to happen to Cube? <laughs> Only it's, it's not. It's his son. But also, you still say what's going to happen. Uh, and also, it's, one of, it's not the final, but it's one of Ray Liotta's final performances. Oh, so Ray Liotta yeah. shows up in this as kind of the drug kingpin in all of this. I mean, I got to ask, mm -hmm. this feels like the memification of movies. Yeah. Who yeah. greenlighted this? Well, it's just, it just seems like a like an internet spoof or something. Yeah, huge question. And you're, you're actually not too far from it because I've seen a number of critics who have all been like, this is the meme that went out of control. Let's be fair. What Banks has created here is sort of an 80s film. This is the 80s film of 80s film. So it's okay. art direction, spirit, B film. That's what it is. That's what you want. That's what you get. That's what this. I mean, so, so no snakes, on the, snakes on a plane yeah. kind of vibe. Snakes yeah, on a plane. Absolutely. So it doesn't take itself too serious. No. You say. And yeah. that's the thing is, so many critics are like, this isn't, pun intended, high cinema. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's called cocaine. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. And that's the other thing about it is that it, this is not going to be Citizen Kane. So any critic that's going to try and hold this to the level of that. That's true. Get real. Lower so, your expectations. Right, right. I mean, we could do a whole Chautauqua on what is quality and what is good. And, and we'd be talking like Zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance. But that's not what's happening. This is, this is a B film. But, and, and it's absurd. Let's make no mistakes about it. There are, there's lots of humor in there. Uh -huh. uh, it doesn't overstay its welcome at 95 minutes in length. So oh, you're, good, you're good, not, good. You're not it's gonna not be- three hours. Yeah, I can handle that. If slide. you go to this movie, you yeah. want it to be absurd. You want yeah. it to be absurd. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you'll catch the jokes. You'll also see some that don't really fall and don't really hit quite right. The bottom line is, it's a good time. Stay through the credits. You'll like get the that. extra little bonus clips at the end. Oh, cool. I like and, when you know who you are and you're just that. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it's acerbic wit. It's rated R, if you couldn't have guessed. <laughs> Cocaine bear. Uh, I'm going to give this two popcorns here. I'm not going to throw this one out. I'm going to give it, you know, it's a solid All right. It's, a solid it's good. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I actually, also a solid night out option. 95 what, minutes, 95 I love minutes. that. Yeah. I can't do another three hour movie. No. I just <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think this is going to be up for any Oscars either. No, yeah. no. Not okay, by any not one for the kiddos. No, clearly not. <laughs> Even on rental, no. Let's, uh, again, yeah, our three minutes is up. We'll, we'll let it go with that. Adam, right. you are iconic. We I love, love this segment so much. Go Game Bear, everybody. Well played, Adam. <laughs> All right.